They are divers and they're explorers searching the vast ocean for our history. Over the summer, they made the find of their careers. Top of the mountain. This one is, uh, is the big one. In 2014, Granite Staters Jeff Goudreau and Ryan King, plus five others, began looking for the SS William H. Macon, a steamship which carried coal from Virginia to Maine. It sank in 1942, about 15 miles off the coast of Portsmouth, after colliding with another ship. All 34 crew members were rescued, but the Macon sunk 300 feet below the surface. There's a lot of cool stuff that's out there under the water in New England, and people seem to, people don't realize that. Through trial and error and a lot of patience and research, this summer they finally found it. I could see a, a little rope below me as I'm sinking, and that rope got bigger, turned into a pipe, and then that rope turned, that pipe turned into a bilge keel. And uh, that was when I knew we had a shipwreck. On July 7th, the 75th anniversary of the sinking, the whole crew explored the Macon. In all, they did 30 dives and still only explored part of the 360-foot ship. We actually haven't made it all the way up forward yet because the wreck is just that large. Ultimately, what identified the Macon was these china dishes on board because of the Pocahontas Steamship Company logo. And now these divers hope to learn even more about the crew. We know our story with the wreck, but we'd really like to hear their story. What was it like to be out there that day? And in addition to sharing the pictures and artifacts, the divers have already started new journeys looking for other shipwrecks off the coasts of Massachusetts and Maine. Live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.